happy people i'm back with another video and today i have another bath and body works project use it up video i'm super excited to show you all everything i'm going to be working on this holiday season um i actually had to kind of revamp everything that i did in my last one and move out a whole lot of products in order to bring in a lot of products so um these are the items i'm going to be ooh, showing you guys but i'm excited i was able to work through some items um use up a lot of products so that means i'll have a really nice empties video coming for you all soon and let me just hop on in and show you what i'll be working on first i want to go through and show you all all the products that i had in my previous uh project pan and then um just show you what the new items are that i'll be using up so um in the last video i'm gonna go ahead and just start with the body wash um this i featured in my last project update um, I think I had just started using it. So this is how much I've used up thus far. This has been a really nice scent. I do have a review on my channel, um, specifically going into detail about this product. So I'll leave that linked down below. The next item that I featured was the Paris Amore, uh, body lotion. That's what that looks like. Um, I was here at the last update. This is where I currently am. This is also has been a really nice scent. Next, I featured the On The Waves Body Scrub. I've been making some really great progress on that. This is where I was at the last update. I think now I'm like, maybe like down to here. I haven't used it too much, but that's where I am on this particular product. Next item I featured was my um, At The Beach uh, Sea Salt Hair Mist. Um, this one, I, I don't use this too often, but I know that I've made some progress. I've used it a few times, so I'm probably going to be like right about here on this product. Um, and I'm going to just keep using it. I don't think I'm going to get as much use as of, out of it now because I just installed some crochet braids in my hair, meaning that I'm not going to be wearing as many units. Um, so who knows, I might try and use it on my crochet braids, but I typically like using this for my units. But I will still continue to make prog progress on this as I can. Next item I featured was my Cabana Breeze. Uh, this is my workout gym spray. I spray this every time I go to the gym. This, were, this is where it was at the last update, and this is where I currently am now. So I've made some progress on it since the last update i also featured a couple of hand sanitizers um i was using the black cherry merlot and this is how far i am on that also i was using the honolulu sun at the last update and this is where i am on that this one i keep in my office the black cherry merlot i keep on my nightstand and i think that's it oh i also featured this product chasing sunsets pink in my last video, uh, this is where I was, and then I think I'm only, this is where I was, and I'm only right about here. So I haven't made too much progress on it. I actually, I'm going to go ahead and move this out of this project and try to use it again like next spring or summer because um, I do enjoy this scent, but I'm actually, in, I'm ready to start going through some of my winter scents, and I'll show you all why I'm really going ahead and transition over to winter scents in just a moment, but I'm going to move this out and just save this for later, but I was using this, but I'm moving it out of my collection for now. Um, I also, at the last update, was using the peppermint uh, oil. I'm actually sitting at the exact same spot that I was at the last update. Y'all, I need some help on trying to use this thing up. Um, I do have some, um, I guess, mint flavored lotions and creams that I'll be using. So that might help me with being able to get through this product. So we'll see what type of pro progress I make on this during the winter months. I think I'll make a lot more. That's it for all of the products that I had featured in my last video and that I was trying to get through now. Um, I have kind of revamped this whole project pan, so let me just show you all. I went through my collection and I noticed that I had some winter scents that looked like they were turning a little bit, so I definitely want to try to move those out of my collection um, and get some use out of them before they go all the way back. The first shower gel that I definitely want to get through is this Vanilla Bean Noel. This is another winter scent, um, so I'll be excited to use this. I've heard a lot of great things about Vanilla Bean Noel. Yeah, it's a it's just a really strong vanilla scent. I've heard a lot of positive things about it. I've had it in my collection now for a, for a little while. Um, let me see, when was this made? Oh, this says it was made in 17. So, yeah, this mug is like two years old. So I definitely want to use this and go ahead and get it out of my collection. I bought it last year, though. So I haven't had it two years, but I've had it for at least a year. So I definitely want to use that up. The next shower gel, this is Winter Candy Apple. This one, I believe, no, this is the 2008 tradition. So I've had this since last year. Um, I have a ton, not a ton, but maybe like two or three backups of the Winter Candy Apple. This is probably, 
aside from coconut mint drop like one of my favorite winter scents so i'll be excited to just use that this winter season in my shower i had already started using sensual which is the black currant vanilla uh this scent is really nice it really puts me in the mind of a uh, dark kiss um but a deeper more sensual version of it um i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it in the project or not simply because i want to go through my winter scents so i might end up taking this out of my project and then um Maybe bringing it back in at a later date, but we'll see on that. I'm going to keep it there for now. Who knows how fast I'll go through these shower gels. I might go ahead and throw it in too, but um, probably not though. But yeah, this one's here. I'm going to go ahead and go into lotions. The lotions were the main things that made me switch all the way over to using my winter scents. As you all know, in the last video, I featured Coconut Mint Drop. Uh, that's where I was as of uh, January of this year. Definitely wanted to use it because the color of it started to turn a little bit brown. So this will probably be the next lotion that I start using after I finish Paris Amore. And to go along with my Vanilla Bean Noel um, uh, shower gel, I also have the Vanilla Bean Noel uh, body uh, lotion and with this one I noticed that this one is turned just like the coconut mint drop so yeah these two I'm just like yo and I you know in my last video when I mentioned the coconut mint drop someone told me that uh, just because it has like a vanilla um, the vanilla I guess scent in there uh, that's the reason why they're turning colors it doesn't mean that the lotion is going bad um, for me I don't like to see my lotions turn brown so that prompts me to go ahead and use them um, so even if they're not going bad I definitely want to go ahead and make sure I'm using my winter scents and getting them out of my collection um, the next lotion I'll be going through is I featured this in my last video I hope I at some point get around to using this winterberry wonder I feel like I feature it in so many videos and I never get around to somewhat using it so maybe hopefully if I get through some of these other ones I can get to this one next another scent here that I really would like to use is champagne toast I've had this for quite some time now I'm maybe halfway through it uh, I, what's funny is I started using this maybe I think last winter no I think two winters ago if I'm thinking right maybe it was last winter probably uh, but yeah I started using it loved it so much got afraid that it was gonna run out and then I just stopped and then I was just like you know what I need to use my stuff because I bought another backup since then so yeah i'm definitely going to be using that th using this this winter season this is the old packaging it's so cute I actually still prefer this packaging over all the other ones that they've uh, come out with thus far i have a couple more lotions here that i want to go through this is a thousand wishes i've had this lotion in my collection i'm pretty sure for like the last two and a half years Oh, this says it's made in 2016. So yeah, this I bought this when I got back from the Peace Corps. And so that's been almost three years ago now. So I need to go ahead and use this. I know people say a lot of good things about A Thousand Wishes. So I'll be excited to use it and see if I like it as much as everyone else does. So I have that out to use. The next lotion I have here is a, a Winter Candy Apple. Um, this is the uh, body uh, lotion. I really love this packaging as well. So I'll love to pair that up with my other one. And the scent notes, well, not, I'm not going to go over scent notes, but this one was made back in 2015. This was gifted to me in 16 when I got back. And um, I really enjoyed the scent. It was one of those situations, again, where I loved it so much. I got afraid of using it, and then I stopped. So I'm going to use this up this holiday season. I have two travel lotions that I'm going to try to get through. So um, I'm traveling a lot this holiday season. I'm going home. I'm going to be spending some good quality time with my friends and family. Super excited about that. And so I brought out some of my travel size lotions. Um, the first one is the Vanilla Bean Noel. So I'll be trying to get through that. And then I also have the Winter Candy Apple. Um, likely I will try to do the Vanilla Bean Noel. This is a really good example to show you guys the color difference um, of what they look like when they start to turn. So I guess because this one has the vanilla is turning and this one doesn't. Um, so I'm going to probably try and use this one first. Although I really would prefer to use my winter candy apple right now because I love that scent. But we'll see what I end up doing. Next I have some Ultra Shea body creams. Um, again, vanilla bean Noel. <laughs> I have so much of this stuff and I really need to get through it. So I'm going to be trying to use this. This is also the 2018 collection. I don't know if you all can see that or not. But this seems like it's already turning as well. Um, the smells, it smells kind of weird like... After I put I put it on the other day, just on my hands, and it kind of had like a plasticky smell after it dried down and didn't feel as moisturizing. So I'm not really sure if this one already has turned bad or not. Y'all let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to try to use this, this first before I even do the lotion and see how it works on my body. But if I feel like it's drying or that it's already turned, I might try and go and exchange it, but we'll see. Then also to go along with the sensual uh, body wash, I had started using the sensual um, body cream. I did do a review on these because I had started using them, but we'll see if I um, 
you know keep them in my collection for now keep them in my project pan i want to just keep them in the background here but likely i probably won't get around to them until next fall i am going to be trying to get through two body mist um i had featured a whole lot of body mist in my last project use it up but i moved those out because these winter scents i really need to get through so to go along with the sh body lotion i have the thousand wishes um um body spray so i'll be excited to use this again this one i've had since 16 so i need to use this stuff up y'all the next thing i have here i featured this in the last one is mary cherry cheer haven't started using it yet but i hopefully will be getting around to it fairly soon okay so this one is not a bath and body Works scent but i do want to try and use it up it is the zoella sweet inspirations this is a really strong vanilla scent and since i'm using so much of this vanilla bean noel i thought this would be perfect to pair along with everything so i'll be trying to use this up as well i'm gonna go into candles that i'll be trying to get through y'all so i'm so proud of myself at my last update i hadn't made any progress on my candles and so i'm excited i've moved some candles out and now i got some new ones in i'm excited for these scents um so i do have a winter not not winter but i do have a sweater weather that i had started burning uh last year with afraid of using it up and so i saved it for this year this is the perfect time to go ahead and burn it but this is my sweater weather you see it's halfway through i absolutely adore this scent this is my favorite fall candle favorite fall scent love this so much don't care for it in the body care though but in the candle form on point I do have a brand new sweater weather as well we'll see if i crack into this one but um i wanted to bring it out because i have like two backs up two backups of this sweater weather so i love this scent so much the almond which i featured in my last video i did finally burn it it's been burning a little bit wonky though but i'm gonna go ahead and finish it up um this scent has been amazing the throat is really nice next i have uh, a super nice christmasy scent which is tis the season i've had this for a couple of years now too um it's all brand new, super nice scent, and look at that. I love the, the lid on this one, that's really cute. I have White Mint Latte, which is super adorable. That's the lid on that too. I love these um, uh, winter um, themed uh, lids. Mm, and this smells really good too. It smells like some good mint chocolate. I'm gonna kind of move into the miscellaneous items. I'm gonna to try to go ahead and use this peppermint oil exfoliating foot mask. I'm definitely gonna do a review once I do decide to use it, but it's the winter months. The peppermint scent is definitely fitting and my feet could use a nice little repair. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get through this. Um, so yeah, this is from Bath and Body Works. I got this at the semi-annual sale this past summer. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get through another one of these clay masks. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do detoxifying clay next. So once I get through the body scrub that I'm currently using, I just went ahead and pulled this out and this on backup. It is the Black Lava Body Scrub and it's a medium exfoliator. So I'll be trying to get through this one. As far as backup hand sanitizers, I do have two. I'm going to be trying to get through Twisted Peppermint. So once I get through one of my current ones, I'll bring this out. Next, I'm going to be using Eucalyptus and Tea after that. So this would be a fun one to try to use up as well. Along with that, I'm currently using vanilla bean noel i actually just brought this out put it on my nightstand so this is another hand sanitizer i'm using right now y'all see vanilla bean noel i got so much of it last year i don't know what i was thinking but i want to really try to get through it and then as far as wallflowers are concerned i have a frosted cranberry which i got through one before but i want to get through this one too love that scent i also have a winter okay and then i also have an evergreen okay that does it for this project use it up again you all i hope you all are enjoying the holiday season i want to encourage you all as as you're out buying gifts for friends and family and for yourselves also just kind of take a step back and look at what you currently have maybe see if you can gift some of the items that you already have in your collection um and then also just try and use your items up we bought them for a reason I'm also um, gifting a lot of my items this holiday season too. Um, some of the recent purchases I've made because I can't go through all of this, y'all. I'm just one person. So yeah, as always, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.